Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the IRR and the relation with the NPV. In my last video we've talked about the NPV and how it's a critical factor to assess if a project is profitable for the company or not. And uh, I did touch upon IRR, uh, which is just like NPV, which finds out if, uh, if a project is um, uh, a profitable um, medium for the company. Uh, so in this video, I would like to touch upon more upon the relation between IRR and NPV. Now the IRR is the rate of return when the NPV is zero. Uh, so we've re in my last video, I've showed you how to find out the IRR. Now there is a, um, a diagram or analysis that a financial analyst uses, which is known as the NPV profile of the project. And uh, it's a graph that shows the relationship between the NPV and the discount rate. Now I'm going to show you um, how to draw one and how we can analyze um, the relationship between the two. So that is going to be our NPV. And that is going to be your discount rate. Discount rate. <clears throat> I would suggest to you that you watch my last video to know more about this concept uh, because uh, I've given a question here and we found out the NPV and also the IRR. So I'd be graphing this to show you more explanation about this. So now I'm going to put a bunch of numbers here which um, relates to the NPV. Okay, so now I have drawn the graph that shows the NPV and the discount rate. So from our previous video, we found out the internal rate of return is 16.1% and that's going to be over here, right? Uh, so like I stated before, IRR is when the NPV is equal to zero. So what is the NPV when the IRR is equal to zero? How do we calculate that? Um, well, there's an easier method to calculate that, the NPV when the IRR is equal to zero is going to be just all of these cash flows added together, including the uh, year zero, the negative sign. Uh, when we add all of those um, four cash flows, that is going to be our NPV when the IRR is equal to zero. And uh, so if you're going to calculate that, that's going to be um, a negative 165,000 plus 63,120 plus 7,800 plus 91,080, we've got 60,000. If you look at our graph here, we have a 60,000 right over here. So when your discount rate is zero, your NPV is going to be 60,000. When your NPV is zero, your IRR is going to be 16%. So, We have just calculated our NPV profile and uh, also just know that this line won't be a linear line. It can go curved, uh, but just to show relationship, I'm just saying that, uh, like I stated earlier, when your NPV is zero, uh, your IRR is going to be 16%, which is going to be on the line. And when your IRR is zero, your NPV is going to be 60,000 and the way to calculate your NPV is to add up all your cash flows um, without taking any other numbers, without taking any present values, without taking any interest rates, just add up all your cash flows and that's going to be your NPV when your IRR is equal to zero. And also know that, know that this measures the sensitivity of the project, that's why it's also known as a sensitivity analysis, uh, so yes. 
So thank you for watching this video. If uh, you have any doubts, please comment down below and also like and subscribe. And if you want me to cover certain topics, um, like I said earlier, just comment down below. Thank you.